Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I'm a coach who helps people in a variety of different ways related to the workplace. Job search, hiring more effectively, managing and leading, executive coaching, career development. Like I said, a lot of different things related to the workplace. Excuse this for being a little dark. The sun has not made it up over the mountain yet. And thus, yeah, I project a little dark, but I've got a busy day and I want to make sure I did a video for you. Do hiring managers view large gaps in a background as a negative? Now, the key missing phrase is, you know, do they view it as a negative and it's unexplained? Because if you explain it and the reasons are, you know, palatable, there's no issue. For example, there's someone I coach who had an ill wife. And, you know, she was, you know, on her way out, came back to recover, but, you know, her husband was there for her. six months, had to get back into the swing of things himself and build up his network. He was devoted to his wife. If you don't tell that to people, they don't know. They just look at a six month gap. You traveled. Okay, you've been working for 30 years. You decided this is going to be the one opportunity in your lifetime to do some major travel. You put it in your resume. It's explained. And thus, people have a different perspective on it. You see, in good economic times, people don't understand gaps. In bad economic times, they just want to know that you weren't fired for cause and that you were laid off as part of thousands of people being laid off. You know what I mean? <laughs> so from a manager's perspective, they don't want to take a risk. They don't want to hire someone else's headache. They make the assumption that when they see a large gap in a the background, they wonder whether or not you've been turned down by 10 or 15 other places already. When I was a beginner, like my second week in recruiting, like back in the Stone Ages, I interviewed a guy with a great background. I brought him in and I asked him, so where have you been on interviews so far? In the last two months, he'd been on 19 interviews and gotten turned down everywhere. Wasn't so good, was he? So you got to look at it from the manager's perspective. There's a message and a gap that they you know, figure out for themselves unless you tell them what the reason is. I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you found this helpful. Visit TheBigGameHunter.us for more information and to schedule time for coaching with me. That can be for a discovery call, which I, I provide for free, or to actually go into coaching with me. And you can also subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Click the icon in the upper left or the one in the lower right, the little teeny one in the lower right. You'll get notified whenever I release something new, and you can watch me on your TV. If you've got a Fire TV or a Fire TV stick, watch me on the app called Job Search TV. On other platforms like Apple TV, Roku, Sony, Samsung, like 90 other TV platforms, watch me on BingeNetworks.tv. Have a great day. Take care.